What a storyline. <laughs> I know. It's what a storyline. What did you think when you saw this one coming up in the scripts? Do you know what? I was excited about it. I think I, I came in on this story when I um, was in talks about coming into Emmerdale. I knew that this was where the character was going. Um, and I was excited. I thought this is a real challenge for me. This is a really important story to tell. And what an amazing opportunity to get that out there, really. Mm. What's it... the reaction been like to it? It's been really mixed. I mean, I've had incredible messages from people. I've had a lot of private messages from people saying that this story's helping them, that, that they've been through similar experiences, that what they thought might have been a lovely relationship or sort of slightly unconventional one was actually grooming. Mm. And um, Are you and... getting the messages from uh, the younger people or from the older women? Younger people, yeah, yeah, I'm getting messages from. So they kind of didn't victims. realise that they were being groomed. No, they thought that they were in a relationship with someone. Maybe that person was also seeing someone else. Yes. They were in a sort of a, similar to the, to the Mayor story in that Mayor is with David, yeah. but having this relationship with Jacob, and they've been in. They were seeing a teacher, or they yeah. were seeing a married man or woman, and actually they thought it was this love it, loving, um, emotionally conducive relationship, and it wasn't. Because you've been working was... uh, with uh, the children's charity Bernardo's on yeah. this, haven't you? Because obviously yeah. you said, you know, there's a huge responsibility yeah. when any soap takes on this kind of storyline. Exactly. We uh, have such a platform. We're so lucky in a soap that we are in people's living rooms seven times a week yeah. at the moment. Um, so we have a platform and therefore a responsibility to tell the story and to tell it properly. And um, so we've had a lot of support from Bernardo's, from lots of charities, actually, um, lots of different people giving us experiences, social workers telling us how they deal with the abused and the abusers. Has it changed your view in any way? I mean, I don't know what your view was yeah. when, you, when you read the storyline, but has anything changed now? You've talked to people um, I mean, that Bernardo's my, put you in touch with. Yeah, my respect for these social workers and these people that are there to pick up the pieces is... I've always thought that's a very honourable profession, but seeing the way that they work with the children. And we, we had an incredible day with um, some survivors of that kind of abuse and the support that they get from their social workers, how they are looked after way beyond their job description, um, was just massively eye-opening. And how, sorry, how, how has it been with your co-star, yeah. who plays Jacob? Yeah, yeah. Um, because he is young, isn't he? What, he's, he's very young, 17? he's 17. Yeah, he's 17. How has he dealt with it? I mean... So, Joe, you know, Joe Warren's been on the show since he was eight years old. He's grown up on that show. Um, he has a family on that show that <laughs> love him and look after him. He, he's incredibly mature and professional as an actor, mm. and we all look after him, and he looks after us as well, you know? Mm. He is... Because the scenes, we were just shown someone there, yeah. the scenes are very awkward to watch yeah, and very they are. difficult to watch they for be. us. So yeah. how difficult and awkward is it for you, yeah. the actors? Listen, it's a job, that's what we do as actors, isn't it? It's, it's awkward when it's <clears throat> someone your own age as mm. much as when it's Do you young. think it's... That's why there was such a backlash from people. Do you think it was more to do with the fact that it was almost like a real, real life is. play out, yeah. play, play out because of your age and his age, yeah. and it was almost as if any actor at any age, what had they look? looked young enough, could have played that part. But because he was, well, he's so young. you know again because he's been on the show since he was eight. He he, that was the story that was put for his character, so they couldn't change change that as such. But. Um, He's always got chaperones around. Um, and the, we, the story is such that we, we've we tried to stay away for as, as much physical stuff on screen as possible because we don't want to make it titillating yeah. and a bit kind of yeah. raunchy. Yeah. That's not the story we're telling. So it's about the manipulation. It's about the suggestion of what she she's doing to him. And, and, such and an I think it's been... Message. I think they've been it very is. clever that how slowly they've done it, because yeah. that's yeah. in real life, that's how yeah. it happens. It's yeah. often a very Again, slow Again, people aren't process. noticing it. And no. as it began, I remember sort of bits on Twitter and things of going, is that... Is she going to go for him? Is there... So the, there was sort of seeds planted and mm. people started to notice, but the characters in Emmerdale 
Well, we know now, it. as we've said in the links and things, yeah. that, uh, that the truth is about to come out. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at... Is this tonight's oh, episode yeah. or tomorrow? Tonight's episode. Okay. So if, you, if you're an Emmerdale fan and you don't want to see this, <laughs> look away now. It's not a huge spoiler, <laughs> but there might be something. OK, this is tonight. But we could just tell everyone how we feel. Well, you know that can't happen until... I've left school. I know. So Liv will just keep pushing us for money. With this and your dad's savings, we've almost got what she wanted. And what about the rest of it? If we don't have it in a few days, Liv will tell everyone. Don't worry. We'll find it somehow. Oh, dear. Well, we will see where that goes. We will see where that goes. Yeah. We won't ask you anymore because I don't want to spoil it for people. <laughs> I do want to ask you about one of your best friends, yeah, is, is uh, yeah. uh, Judge Rob Rinder, who yeah. is a huge yeah, yeah. Uh, fan of this show. <laughs> we love him. He was very excited when I told him I was coming <laughs> on to oh, see you all. Yeah. We, we love having him on the show. How do you know each other? So Rob and I have known each other for a very long time. Um, I shadowed him as a when he was a criminal barrister. I... Oh, gosh. <laughs> 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 He'll hate me for that picture. Um, he, I shadowed him as a junior barrister when I was doing Judge John Deed because um, I didn't really know what what barristers did then. Um, so, and just yeah. very quickly, because I'm just shouting in my ear and yeah. I've got to go, but did, was, am I right that he played Cupid and introduced Absolutely. you to your husband? Completely. <laughs> he introduced me to my husband. He was best man at our wedding. Oh. Oh. I bet he gave a wonderful That's speech. Brilliant That's speech. Brilliant, 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 brilliant speech. Yeah, oh, well, I hope you if you're Rob watching laughing. today... Hello, Rob. We love no, it. Um, <laughs> listen, it's a fantastic storyline and uh, we're all absolutely gripped. Thank uh, you. Seven o'clock tonight. You. Louisa yeah. Klein, thank you very much. <laughs>